Hello everyone, Pridex here. Welcome back to our Angel Bob's Omni playthrough. So in our last episode we did some planning and realized we are not ready to work towards a singularity 1 million science per minute base. Uh, we are actually quite a ways from that. So we're going to start with a smaller to-do list. I kind of did a little bit of playing around and just thinking through what we would need. And I think we've got a few steps we're going to start with. Step one is better power. And we're going to work towards the higher tiers of nuclear and do some compact nuclear. And then we are going to do tier four bots. And we're going to work on that and make sure we have full productivity, getting our way up to tier four bots so that they're pretty cheap to produce. Then we're going to work on more entities. And so that's things like inserters and assemblers. We're going to automate more of those things, automate these compressors, a lot of other various things so that we can at least have some compact buildings that are automated or at least automate enough buildings that it's easy to just make compact ones if we need them. And then after we get all that done, we'll start potentially looking at, um, you know, moving towards mining compressed Omnite and uh, speaking of Omnite, definitely a little short on it, but but yeah, so first thing I need to do is take out some biter bases. I have actually got attacked once or twice by this base, I think. So I'm going to go take out those two bases if I can remember where I left. Uh, where did I leave the vehicle? Up here. Okay. This gunship is our key. The Angel of Death, as I called it in the title. It's the 130 Hercules, is that what it is? I think it's Hercules. Anyway, uh, we'll just go laser the heck out of this base real quick and call it a day. Oh, you wanted to live? That's too bad. No more base for you. Take this one out. Let's do some strafing runs. I mean, this is actually quite accurate as to what the Angel of Death would do. The battle modified C-130 would mount a bunch of Vulcan cannons and other, I don't know, howitzers, who knows, weaponry on the side and just do strafing runs in circles around whatever was on the ground. And whatever was on the ground would be gone. Alright, well that was easy. So, stop this puppy, do some repairs. Do I still have that repair pack? Don't think so. Ooh, let's build a red repair pack. Why not? Oh, well. I guess my bots repaired it while I wasn't looking. <clears throat> okay, so our goal... I had to make an unfortunate decision to turn off the setting to compress only the highest tier of buildings because for some reason, with the way these reactors are set up, there was only compressed for deuterium reactors. But the way Angel Bobs, and I don't know what, what changes what, but when you have Angel Bobs together and you want deuterium fuel cells, you actually need, um, you can recycle a lot of it. But the problem is you need a little bit of muon, 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 I don't know, muon fusion catalysts. And those only come from either recycling used up thorium um, or from, uh, wait, that's not good. Why is it not showing up? Does it need to be translated names? No. Now it's not even showing up. What did I, what did I do? Did I break something? Uh, oh, there, I had it on ingredient. There we go. So the only place it comes from, other than recycling, is this one, which is advanced uh, thorium fuel cell reprocessing. So you have to burn thorium fuel cells to get your muon fusion catalysts. And then, so I started looking into the thorium chain, and you can get the plutonium by just doing the 
bobbing about enrichment process. And you can get thorium from, well, thorium ore is real complicated to get. Um, I think there's a second way to get thorium, which is, oh, used up. No, sorry. There's not a second way to get thorium. That's it. So thorium, I'm going to wait a while on. Um, and you have to do this whole crazy process. But it's the curium that is curious. Um, the only ways to get curium are, you know, reprocessing, uh, what are they called? Fuel cells. So thorium fuel cells, five of them will give you 0.1. So 50 fuel cells give you one curium. So I think... Uh, if your goal is only to provide the curium 245, you're a little bit short on reprocessing. I guess I could do a slightly more compact version of a centrifuge. Maybe I could do a nanite centrifuge, and then that would allow me to fit in more... Oh, nanite centrifuge 3. And that would allow me to fit in more modules. And then I would almost get back enough. Anyway, that's an interesting concept. You can't do productivity on the deuterium fuel cells, but you can do productivity on thorium fuel cells. That feels a little strange, right? Did I just select the wrong one? No. Somehow I just selected a recipe that provides the burnt cells as well. But yeah, why can't I do productivity on this one? I guess the whole goal is that you can't cycle it, but you would have thought the same would be true for thorium. Anyway, I'm wasting time. The whole point is mixed oxide fuel cells are the only ones you can create from scratch without needing cycles of stuff below it. And mixed oxide fuel cells are definitely more productive than the uranium fuel cells. Um, in terms of the actual fuel cell value, they are actually a little bit less. These are 1.5 gigajoules or 2 gigajoules, depending on which one you're looking at. Uh, which one's the more common? Is it 235? Yeah. Um, but the mixed oxide fuel cells are, are, oh, they're eight gigajoules. They are more. And we can use productivity. So my goal is to start with that. Um, I did the researches I needed to do. And we are going to try to see if compact reactors work. Um... And potentially some higher tier heat exchangers and heat pipes. So to make, well, we've got a couple issues. I think I'll start with trying to make a couple more buildings here. So we'll start with the centrifuge. So centrifuge two, and then centrifuge three, these are very expensive buildings. Okay, so I want to go back to the additional paste settings, and we do want to just do recipe amount 5. Bam. 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 We'll upgrade that one, throw in a few more bots. Um, and then we need... 
one cancels centrifuge one, this one cancels centrifuge two, this one stack size one, and then we set it to only insert if centrifuge three is less than, yeah, let's say. And that should get us there. Yep, there we go. So we got some centrifuge threes and then reactors. What goes into those? So why do I not have thorium? Somehow I skipped researching that. Um, so reactor, I need concrete and more red circuits than I would normally want. So let's bump up that to 600 and bump up the concrete to 600 so that I don't have to keep running back and forth to fetch those. We definitely need some more bots still. And heat pipe. So here's what's interesting. I don't totally understand um, the interaction. I grab some heat pipes. I don't really understand the interaction of higher tier nuclear with things like heat pipes and all that. So we're going to find out. What happens? Oh, I don't need four random blue pipes. Because I did do the research for higher tier heat exchangers. Oh, I need tungsten plates. Interesting. Okay. Um, and heat pipe can't do productivity, right? I assume. Yeah. Sad, but true. Okay, well, I do know concrete, I can make more productive, so that's a thing I can do. And this one will switch to a different kind of beacon. Save some power, give some speed. So we'll have plenty of concrete. Um, okay, so so heat pipes have a capacity of some sort, but they don't show any of that in here, do they? Uh-uh. They don't. But I think higher tier heat pipes are good. Now what am I missing from this? Just the tungsten? Looks like tungsten plates. Um, don't I have tungsten carbide? So tungsten plate I assume is just another maybe single step up here. Where's all the tungsten stuff happening? Okay, here's the tungsten ore. Tungsten plate. Comes from tungsten powder mixture. Oh, which is a combination of nickel or cobalt and tungsten powder. We already have the tungsten powder, but I need maybe nickel powder. Is nickel easier to get than cobalt? Probably the nickels down here or is this zinc? Yeah, that's nickel. So nickel powder could hopefully be made in an assembler. I'm assuming here powder. Uh, it also very well might be made in an ore powderizer, but no. You'd think it'd be made in an ore powderizer, but it's actually just made in an assembly machine. So we'll provide that. Just a couple stacks. Should be fine. That works fast. Seven per second. 
And then we need to go find, oh, don't get hit, find our tungsten, which this was our cobalt area. Uh, where's our tungsten area? I'm trying to remember where we put that. Put it somewhere strange. Did we not? Hmm. It's like in a completely different area, wasn't it? Was it over here? Oh, it was up by the by the uh, gases. That's right. Because it needed like hexafluoride or crazy stuff. So it's up here. Yeah. Tungsten. Okay. Uh, now we actually have run out, which is not a good thing. I also seem to have caught an error that there's no fuel provided to this furnace, so let's change that. This is out of hydrogen fluoride, which is attached to here, because that's out of fluorite. So that's out of fluoric wastewater, and that is for what reason exactly? The waste is connected improperly. I see. This one needs to go away, and we need to flush that out. Uh, clearly, I still have it attached to something. This one. I see the problem. That should fix it. There we go. Fortunately, we can't do productivity on any of these, but... Okay. Yeah, it's just liquid flow speed is staying slow. Okay, but that should fire up the tungsten stuff again. Alright, so then we're almost there. Tungsten plate, last step is tungsten powder mixture. So we mix them into a powder mixer and then we create it in a sintering oven. We already have a couple up here. So we need another one and then a powder mixer. And the sintering oven needs to be tungsten plate. And then we want more productivity. And where's that powder mixer? Right here. Quest some nickel powder. Let's go 400. Tungsten powder mixture. Yeah, of course you can't use productivity. Looks like the rate on that bad boy is more than enough. And actually, now that I think about it, I can just, um... Let's see. I can just put that on. Well, no, I shouldn't put it on a belt. Belts are gonna slow me down. Once I have better bots, we're gonna zoom a lot faster with bots than with belts. And there we go, tungsten plate. Throw that on the logistics request. We're good to go. Okay, so I don't even remember what it was that I was, oh yeah, heat exchangers. So I should be okay to use these higher tier ones, right? Because unless I'm missing something, they still have a minimum temperature that's higher than the maximum temperature of uranium. So there's no, it's not like these aren't gonna work right. And then these just have 765 degrees steam, which works with the tier, uh, what's it called? 
Is it not a turbine? Steam. Uh, where are they? They're probably in here. Wood burning. Generator. Turbine. Oh, I need to research them. That's the problem. <laughs> so there's that one, and then this one, 765 degree steam. Okay. Now, what I'm curious about is like a compressed steam turbine. So what I want is a compact steam turbine three consumes grade one concentrated steam and it produces four times the electricity. So then what does a heat exchanger look like? Compact heat exchanger three consumes grade one concentrated water and 72 megawatts. That's more what I'm looking for. Heck, even... Maybe I should use these nanite heat exchangers. Because these are a direct 1 to 4 correlation. 72 times 4 is exactly 288. And there's no pollution. So this just fits heat exchangers into a smaller space. Um, so I think that's actually what I want. Um, and then the reactors. I want a compact uranium reactor. If I do four of these in a little chunk, each of them with a 200% neighbor bonus, then they're all triple. So 270 times three times four. Uh, that's a lot of power. 270 times three times four. Uh, that's 3.2 gigawatts. Is that enough for now? I think that's enough for now, so we'll, we'll go with that. Um, maybe I should go more, more compact. Should I go with... So that would be 16 uranium reactors if I did the nanites. That would require me building 64 reactors. And how does the power work? 54 times 5. 270 times 5. Okay. So the heat exchangers go up by factors of 4. The reactors do go up by factors of 5. Which I guess makes sense because the power consumers go up by factors of five, so it, that way these reactors can keep up. But that is a little sad that the exchangers only go up by fours, which is kind of weird. But um, so four nanites would be four five gigawatts times to about fifteen gigawatts. Right, five times the power. Should I just go for that? No, we can, we can upgrade them later. I'll start with the compact uranium reactors. Um, okay, yeah, I mean, really, all I need is some centrifuge threes and some more reactors, and then I'll slowly make the heat pipes. We've got the tungsten plates now. Uh, robot, can we get more speed? No. First of all, we need heat shielding. We need all sorts of random researches. Let's keep working on that stuff. But I can't upgrade bots anymore until space science. Okay, yeah. Bots need to come visit me. Uh, centrifuge threes are... Looks like we've got plenty of them, so I'll grab I'll grab those. Hopefully that'll be enough to get me through. And we just need 
few more uranium reactors. Some heat exchangers. I should probably automate those as well. And heat pipes. That wouldn't hurt anything. I want to get serious about this nuclear thing. Heat pipe one. Wait, there's compact heat pipes? Oh dear. Um, well, that's confusing, because none of these give you any information on what they do. Hmm. Heat exchanger one. Heat pipe two, exchanger two, and then we need heat pipe three, exchanger three, just that one. Get a few bots going here. At least that's the hope. And then we'll also store some of these heat pipes for my own personal use. Uh, do reactors need heat pipes? Yeah, so I'm going to keep the ones I have in my inventory. Oh, and we need boiler threes. Uh, boiler three. Gosh, I have to give a mouse a cookie. Boiler three needs... Boiler two. Can't just do that, can I? Boiler two. Boiler. Boiler one. That one needs burner omni tractors, which I think I'm providing. I hope. This we'll see. Uh, Stone furnaces is somewhat ironically the thing I don't have. Um, so let's just request some stone here. Do that. That. Steel pipes are a problem. Steel pipe. And then uh, we need brass pipe. Looks like I am providing that. Apparently I had some boiler twos in storage. But then that will provide to the heat exchanger. That's a that's a long chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven buildings. This is really a tier seven building. Oh, copper tungsten pipe. That's something I don't have. Copper tungsten pipe. What's the underground length on that? Twenty-seven. That's nice. Um which requires tungsten carbide, which is already in here, so we'll just loop that. Bada-bing, bada-boom, heat exchanger, we'll do a full stack of them. Now we need turbines. Jeez. Uh, turbine three.
We're going to where's the steam turbine this category uh, which requires steam engine three steam engine three which requires steam engine two this is why I should have been automating all my buildings earlier and that requires a heat burner what even is a heat burner? I barely remember those even existing. Um, heat burner. Requires a stone furnace, ironically. So if I uh, drop tile, pick up tile, <laughs> that can provide the stone furnaces. Um, and then we are going to slowly work our way up this little tech tree. So those get provided. It's the stone furnaces, those go in here. This request here. Apparently I'm not providing iron gear wheels anywhere. That is a problem that I'm gonna fix right here. Because I'm lazy. The slowest that can go is three per second. That should be a decent amount for the network. Uh, yeah, we'll just do two rows. Um, okay, so now gears are around. We take that off. Ironically, this... Oh, I'm done. This one. That's the next one. So we do something like that. Two more requester chests. Click. Click. Like that. That brass pipes seems like they are covered. Steel pipes, we have a bit of an issue again that I can fix just like that. This is the future of bots, by the way. This is how we'll do everything. Okay. Give more request your chest. Bam, bam. Bam. Okay. So we've got everything that one needs. Looks like we've got everything this one needs. And we've got everything that one needs. Except night null pipes. Okay, so we do need pipes. Which are here? Here. Perfect. And I don't think you can do productivity on pipes. All right. After all that work, we now have turbines. Now I happen to have a steam turbine too that I don't need. Grab another reactor. There we go, steam turbine threes, and having an issue here with ceramic pipes. Ah, I forgot about that. So ceramic pipe is just silicon nitride. That's easy peasy. Uh, we'll just throw that there. Few stacks. That's good to go. And I don't think productivity goes in anything. Okay, I'll grab a few steam turbines, grab another reactor. Really, the issue is a bot issue. We don't have enough bots. So we'll throw another 50 in the network. The reactor. Still waiting on bots. Get rid of a couple things. 
Definitely don't need that plasma cannon right now. Plasma cannons are cool to have a couple of once you get the ship that can hold a million things, but they're not super great because the projectile travel speed is kind of slow and the firing rate's kind of slow. So even though they do big damage, you kind of end up throwing lasers most of the time. Okay, I'm just going to assume heat pipe threes will be fine. I don't totally understand what the higher tiers of heat pipes do, or even what compact or compressed heat pipes might do. So if you know what compressed heat pipes do, let me know. And now we can just run on down here. For improved nuclear times. So first of all, we will establish a bit more defense against potential attackers. Make a little line there. Then we'll get some new reactors. Now, in this beautiful future, I am going to choose to not care about waste. I'm just going to have the reactors run full time. I think it's simpler that way. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, yeah, yeah, the, the heat transfers from one to the next. So all I need is some compact. Oh, wait, that's not how this works. That makes stacks of things. This is how we get heat exchanger. Compact. Yeah, and there's really no cost to compacting these, so we should also have Heat Exchanger 3 on my list. Steam Turbine 3 on my list. Probably just 20, though, each. Or 10 exchangers, 20 turbines is the ratio. Uh, so Steam Turbine... Recompact. Oh, it doesn't have power. Okay, there we go. Productivity? <laughs> yeah, I figured that wouldn't work. Okay, so grade one concentrated. Now we have to look into how do you get grade one concentrated anyway? Uh, steam. Here. Grade one concentrated steam is four times the amount of steam. Okay, that makes sense because the amount of power that we get is four. So the heat capacity is four times the amount. Perfect. Um, that's done in a condensator. So what we want because that actually uses water, so we need a condensator on water. Um, yeah, this whole system is easier now that we can just make water directly. Condensator. Let's make four of those. I think that'll be enough. Reactor. Oh, do we not have steel requested to 400? Oh, I just spent some of it. I see. Okay, so in these condensators, we want water, just regular water. We could save ourselves a lot of hassle if I could have concentrated water. Uh, but how do I get... That's brine. That looks a lot like water. This water? There we go. Um, 
I can make concentrated water via concentrated omnic water. Okay, and I can make that probably just with I don't know if we have the pure recipe yet, but yeah, one compressed omnite. That might be a better way to do it. Because then it doesn't have to flow as fast. Hmm. And can I make grade two directly from concentrated? Ooh, you can. That's even more. Grade three even. That's probably what I'll want. Because that just means I, I use a lot less space. So... To make concentrated water, we just do this and we pick that recipe. And then we need another one. Why are there all these extra recipes? I feel like something's off. Shouldn't those not be there? Like there's only one of the regular variety, but then all of these rest versions are there. That feels like a bug with something. Makes for a very busy screen. Um, but the one I want is Omnic Water, directly from Compressed Omnite. Yeah, because we've done all 10 tiers. Now what I'm scared about is the 10th level of these four researches will break things again because of the Omnic Waste. So I'm going to do the 9th level, but not the 10th level yet. Okay. So this goes directly to grade three, which is fine. Grade one is 4x, grade two is 16x, grade three, this is 64 times concentrated. Which means we need 120 per second of this to do 64 heat exchangers, essentially. Um, gosh, that's so many. Do I actually need that many? So here's the question. So, I mean, for four nuclear reactors, we need, I think it was actually supposed to be 60 heat exchangers. Uh, let me craft a reactor while I'm thinking. So we did the math. 54 times 5, that times 12, 30 to 40. And then my goal is heat exchangers 3. So let's try divided by 288 and see how many we would need. Divided by 288. We would need 11.25. So I might as well take the 3240. And instead of 288, we'll do heat exchanger 3 quantum, which is 288 times 4. And then I need exactly three of them. So I need three quantum heat exchangers. Which means concentrated water-wise, I need about 360 per second. Which can all flow in one pipe. How nice is that? Um, my base is seeming to have issues, though. I wonder what's going on. Trains are just going all over the place, I guess. It's a good problem to have. These heat exchangers use basically every metal known to man that I own, so... That makes sense. 
So that's only 20 heat exchanger threes. I need three quantums, which is 180 heat exchanger threes. Holy cow. Oh, I don't think I realized just how expensive power is. Heat exchanger three. Oh, what am I doing? I want this. I actually need that to be like 40. Man. And if I need three quantum heat exchanger threes, I need six quantum steam turbine threes. And then reactors, I need 16 reactors. I'm only at eight. Okay, let's keep going with this. So compressed Omnite, this is where we just need a compressor. Now what's kind of hard about this is you can't easily know how fast it works. Um, she's not even showing me the recipe. For some reason. But I assume you can compress all night. Is it a hidden recipe? There it is, yeah. So, 20 seconds. How much do I need for this? Half of one per minute to make 8,000 concentrated omnic water. Which will make 8,000... Yeah, okay, we are more than okay with all of these. Also, can any of these use productivity? No. Okay, so then all we need here is Omnite, which looks like I've got some here already, so we'll just have that run over, down. Hopefully that's fast enough rate. We only need like 300 concentrated water Oh, this is per minute. 360 per second. That's what I need, right? 120 times 3? Yeah. It's 21k per minute. Oh. This is actually not enough, then. Because it's almost exactly 1 to 1. The concentrated water versus the grade 3... Um, there's the rate. Okay. So we do need about three of, well, I can just use speed modules. There, 580. This one is only 200. 278. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior Speed Beacon? Uh, there we go, 500. This one's still too slow, though. Oh, because this doesn't have speed. Uh, so, condensator, we need like three of these. Doing grade three water from concentrated water. There we go. That should do it. Okay, and then I think what we actually need is Omnite to come straight here. That belt probably isn't even fast enough. So we need about a fourth of that, maybe a third of that. So about 0.03, which this can provide 
about 24 Omnite per second. Actually a decent amount of Omnite used for steam. Which is unfortunate. I guess that's a cost of nuclear that I don't think about very often. Is the water cost. Which solar doesn't have. So long term I should probably go solar but this is just kind of a mid mid game mid late game power build that will hopefully get me pretty far. Okay, let me work on the compressed oxide things as well. Because this whole system is bunk. So what we need are mixed oxide. We need three compact centrifuge these. So we'll remove all that. Remove that dumb thing. Um, okay, and then we need Centrifuge 3 Compact. Need three of them. Two. Three. Okay. Number one here. Full productivity is going to be just our classic uranium processing. And then that will go into a silo. We can do all sorts of circuit conditions on that silo. Um, then we need one of these guys on, what is this? The bobbing about process, which essentially turns Oh, right. I need plutonium first, though. How do I get my first plutoniums? Is it... Fuel cell... Reprocessing? Is that also in a centrifuge? Uh, is it this one? That doesn't actually get me... Oh, it's this one. I think it used to be reprocessing got you your first plutoniums, but now it looks like Neptunium can be turned into plutonium. Now it looks like this is the way to go. 5 uranium-235. Well, essentially, you're spending 2 uranium-235 and some 238 to get a plutonium. So we want that. Um, my poor inventory. Inventory upgrade, please. Thank you. Um, okay, so we want this. Oh, we can do productivity. I wonder if that works with the catalyst thing or not. Um, and then we have some 235 we can feed in here. Does that create a full 310 one? No, okay, good. It only creates the plutonium. So it does the catalyst thing properly. Because we need a decent amount of plutonium to jumpstart this process. Now, beacons would like a compact beacon. Or maybe this is fine. Oh dear, 175 megawatts? That's that's not acceptable. Gosh, you need like three three or four speed modules, and then it goes ham. At least it works fast. Um it's like half of my base's power right there. So we need a decent amount of 235. 
for this, and that will slowly generate plutonium. I really need efficiency eight modules too. Let me add that in. Efficiency eight. That's important. Okay, need to make another reactor. Keep crafting those. We're at 10 out of 16 now. We need 40 plutonium to get this rolling. Oh, you know what I should do is just fill one with efficiency. There we go. That'll help. Quite a lot, actually. Spending 480 kilowatts to save multiple megawatts. Worth it. <laughs> um, and then that actually makes me feel like we can put a couple more speed. Which means this thing will just zoom through all the uranium we can give it. Slowly getting there. Because of productivity, every two uranium-235 we get really gives me more like three plutonium-239, which is nice. Okay, and then the final step is just lead plates. Um, I'll just switch this one over once we have enough, and that will actually make the mixed oxide fuel cells. So, I mean, that is pretty crazy. From 8.7 uranium ore, we can get 40 gigawatts, 40 gigajoules worth of power. With productivity helping us out. Jeez, we're still only at 13, though. I'm not missing a way to get plutonium, right? Plutonium, 239. I think this is the only way. I mean, if we have a way to get americium, or if you pronounced it the same way as Omni does, it'd be americium, but that's incorrect. Mm. We have to use up MOX fuel cells for that, so I can't do that. Same here. Or thorium, or now thorium is going to be a pain in the butt. That'll be like an entire episode. I was plugging it into Helmod, and it's actually really easy once you have thorium ore. And the actual amount of input we need to get that thorium ore is very small. But, and these are like 50 gigajoule fuel cells. But the problem is you need every step of this ferrous crystal stuff and it just ends up being incredibly painful there are so many steps to get like anodized ferrous concentrate it's insane um like you need cupric sludge and then that requires you know all the chunks and thermal water and then cupric powder and cupric powder needs crushed cupric mixture and that i think is actually finally back down to like base crushed ores and then you need to do the same for the Ferris one. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. So, so I mean, thankfully, a lot of the, the steps are mirrored. Um, so you only need... Wait, that's below both of them. There we go. Um, you know, you basically, all of these steps, there's just two buildings for each thing. But you can see that it's pretty annoying. Um, 
Thankfully, sulfuric acid is used in a couple places. You need thermal water, you need sodium hydroxide, you need hydrogen chloride, you need purified water, ceramic filters. And then I think that's it. I think that takes care of the rest, but that's just a long chain to deal with to be able to get the Kubrick and Ferris crystals that you need for thorium. Uh, how are we doing? Okay, we're at 30. We only need to be at 40, so we're almost there. I need to keep working on reactors. It's be 11. Why don't I stand closer? To where the things will be coming from. And I should probably just manually take another 50 heat exchangers. Oh, these should be like higher limit reactor come on one more let's go go that'll trigger a thousand more bots but this is ooh almost got hit by that one it's not running. Oh, we probably still have, I guess, plenty of steam in there. Okay, fill you up, fill you up. So what is this? Stacks of 20? So 20, 40, 60, 80. We said we needed 64 times. We need like 360. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is insane. Okay, what about this? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So we're getting closer on heat exchangers at least. But we need about a million more turbines. And the reactor, just need a little bit of concrete. Come on. There we go. Okay, do we have enough? 34. Oh. We've actually run out of uranium. Let's request 30,000 of it. And is that a problem up here? No, we have we have plenty of uranium. Thirty-seven, we're almost there. Get this going. So this one will be a plutonium based. Uh, if plutonium is less than let's go for a thousand plutonium. That'll keep running. And then this the main purpose of this guy is to create uranium-238. So this one will only run if 238 is less than 10,000. Uh, is that right? 100 slots? No, that's maybe a bit ambitious. Let's say like 4,000. All right, we're running. So now we're creating large amounts of plutonium. We can delete that. Compact centrifuge three for mixed oxide fuel cells. Bada bing, bada boom. Throw that on there. And then we just need lead plates. Requested. And there we go. And I'll just do a whole row. What are these stacked to? 50? Four, what is that? 400 gigajoules per stack? Uh, maybe I only need like four stacks. And then this one is only allowed to run if plutonium is above 100. That way I won't use up all the plutonium. 
on accident. Oh, there we go. We already... <laughs> that's that's hilarious. Well, there's 200 mixed oxide fuel cells. That'll run for forever. Now, since I'm running them in compact generators, it's worth thinking about... Could I compress those? We need another reactor. We're almost there on reactors. Compact reactor. Now, I realize I'm losing out on a little bit of neighbor bonus action. Um, rather than having four compact, I could have 16 reactors all in a row, and I'd have a lot higher neighbor bonus. Uh, but that just takes up a lot more space, and I have to deal with a lot more inserters and stuff. And the neighbor bonus really only cares about making the fuel more efficient, which I think is already the cheaper part. I feel like the steam, that's going to be the same efficiency either way. Um, so here we go. Got three of them ready to go. Soon we'll have all four. I guess I could take a couple of those. I don't really want to, though. Just need two more. Come on, bring that concrete. There we go. There's one more. Um, okay, give you everything. Give you everything. We're continuing on with these heat exchangers. And I think these heat pipe threes will be able to handle it all. I mean, I think that's all we'll need. We'll try it out. Still waiting a minute for that last reactor. Now these, it's probably worth doing heat exchanger three nanite. Speed things up here. Okay, and then here. This is Heat Exchanger 3 Quantum. Where's Singularity? Have I not researched Singularity yet? Oh yeah, I like paused the research. We don't need it right now anyway. Oh, that's three Quantums right there. I'm done. Huzzah! Uh, so three quantums are going to be right here. That's it. And we need grade three concentrated water, which is here. An extender. And then we need one more reactor, I think. Pop that in there. Get our compact boy. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Now this is the real thing that we probably haven't finished yet, is this. Um, do you need a steam turbine two or no steam turbine three nanite? And then in that we need steam turbine three quantum. Okay, so we've got two. Three now. We need six. Okay, well, we're getting there. 
it just feels really cool to have um, three gigawatts of power in this little space. I gotta say, that's pretty sweet. Okay, and let's grab some of those mixed oxide fuel cells and just get these bad boys warmed up. Let's see how fast they burn them. Eh, reasonably fast. Temperatures ramping up. Let's see, these need to be how hot before they start running? 765? Okay. Oh yeah, we need... Getting rid of... Put that there... We get lots of useful byproducts from that, so that would be important. Okay. I'm not getting as many steam turbines as I should have. What's up with that? Can cancel this, or at least bring it down to 10. Struggling to make steam turbines. It's actually Anbark Omniters. That is the problem. No, it's bots. I think. Bots are the problem. We just don't have enough logistic bots. Or is it Anbaric Omnisers? Anbaric... Yeah, that is part of the problem. They're not being provided properly. Um, in fact, aren't they being provided, like, somewhere in here? Uh, yeah, right here. So let's put some productivity on that and on that. Give a bit more leeway there. Okay. That should help a little bit. Come back down to nuclear land. Okay, they're running. So we're at a thousand degrees. These can go higher. And I don't know how high the heat pipe threes can go, but these are still uranium reactors, so they cap out at a thousand. Hey, there we go. There's one more. So I still need 120 something heat turbines. Uh, we're going to bump that up to like 60. Okay, well, it's working. 
the only thing I need now is actual fuel input. Fuel requester, mixed oxide, fuel input. That's not a requester. Mox fuel cells, we'll do 100. Does it doesn't give me the rate? Well, I can do the math. 270 versus 8,000. So it's about 30 seconds a piece. So we need one every seven and a half seconds. Because this design here was for a much higher, you know, amount. Because we're doing 270 times four. So each one of these is eight gigajoules. So we need 8,000 divided by 270 divided by four. I did that math wrong. Um, Is it 270 divided by... Oh, 270 times 4 divided by 8,000. That's what I need. So we're only using 0.24 uranium ore per second, even if these are provided constantly. So very, very cheap. Overall, the, the Omnite is the most expensive part. All right. Sweet. And I'll just have to keep going with these compressed... Uh, what are they called? Steam turbines. And I think I'm okay letting this part... Well, it's another 500 megawatts. I should probably let it survive. I don't know. This is now designed differently, though, so I should just... I should mix this. We'll put other power there later. This should be all I need for a while. It's over three gigawatts. Oh, and what I should do is steam tanks. Because of how compressed this steam is, each... Oh, where am I looking? Logistics? No. Barreling and fluid control. Uh, because of how compressed the steam is, it's a very large amount of power per unit. So we'll do something like this. And then that way, we won't waste as much power. And maybe, maybe I will, I mean, this isn't that hard. And it at least saves a lot of power when I'm not using pretty much. Saves a lot of waste. Um, we can just simply connect these, connect to there, connect to here, here. And then we'll connect from there. Okay, just kidding. And from here to here. We'll craft some more wires. Then we'll connect from there to these. And then we'll just say, okay, what is this stuff even called? Grade three concentrated steam. Okay, and we can hold up to uh, 1,050K. So if that total amount, grade three concentrated steam, sometimes it's easier to just type it all out. If that drops below, 500,000, which is about half. Then we'll fire up all the reactors. And it'll put, you know, too many fuel cells in there at once. So by the time those run out, we'll probably have more than filled them. But I don't know, those are gonna fill pretty slow. This is only 360 per second, which we did the math on that, how much per minute? 
It's only 21k per minute. So each one of these can hold 15, over 15 minutes. So, I mean, all together they can hold 45 minutes worth of steam. Yeah, actually, I think this is going to run really well. Um, we just need more of these bad boys. Okay, well, I mean, this episode has gone very long. I apologize for that. I'll finish this out um, on my own time. I guess I should still have these placed or something. But... I'll finish this out on my own, and then all I'm going to do is add those two steam turbines. And then in the next episode, we'll be working towards efficiency 8. But we have accomplished better power. This is more efficient power, and it's up to 3 gigawatts of power with such a tiny setup. So this is the power of compression that you're seeing. And we haven't even gone to the highest tier. There's even one more tier of water that would reduce... These, this need by four yet again, and there's a lot more tiers of these. So I don't know how far I'll take the nuclear. I think I, I will probably want to go towards solar at some point because it requires zero UPS, zero logistics. You just set up the panels and you're done. So I definitely want to move towards that at some point. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you all next time.